Oh, hey guys, Boss and Fan back with a TTM update. I've got five TTMs back this week to report on. Um, and so let's just dig into it. First one, one of one, 18 days with a $5 fee was Ron Swoboda, former Mets outfielder. He signed in 1967. Tops for me, Black Sharpie. Um, he's consistently signed for $5. Um, of course, he was a member of the 1969 Mets. He actually hit 400 in that World Series and made a really famous catch in Game 4 of the World Series, a diving catch that uh, saved the game. I think the tying and winning runs were on base, um, and he dove and, and saved what would have probably put the Orioles ahead. And then the Mets won in the bottom of the whatever inning that was, the 10th inning um, or 9th inning, actually. So he signed one of one. That was really cool. Um, I had bought that card to resell on eBay. It never sold. And I figured, <clears throat> why not? Let's get an autograph. Um, so pretty cool. Glad to add a 69 Met as always. Next one is three of three, 28 days. And it was, gave a $5 donation. And that is Mr. Kelly Gruber. He was a star when I was growing up. And great to add him. He signed the 87 top, first tops card. His 91 all-star card. And his 85 Fleer Prospect Rookie card. I'm going to put the 87 because that's always been a favorite of mine. Um, he also added, I think this is handwritten. I can't quite tell if it's copied or handwritten. It might actually be copied looking at it. It seems like he just cut it out. But he's just asking if budget parents please consider donating. Any amount helps for our many work worthy charities thank you and god bless you kelly gruber um i sent five dollars i don't think he has a set don't i mean this seems he doesn't have a set fee per card so i sent five dollars with the three cards he signed all three um he played 10 years for both toronto and anaheim um he was an all-star in 1989 and 1990 as we saw in the 91 tops um 1990 hit 279 with 31 home runs and 118 rbis he played in the 92 world series was a 92 world champion um and overall he played in 939 games hitting 259 117 home runs and 443 rbis and that autograph is brand new to my collection you guys know that i always love adding new autographs that i didn't have before Next one up, three of three, 36 days, no fee on this one. This is Manny Trio. Manny Trio signed his 88 Tops Leaders card. I don't think Sean Dunstan's that consistent through the mail. He signed his 83 Tops, and he signed the 78 Tops, though it looks like I don't feel a wax stain there. But it looks like the pen was either dying. It seems weird. His pen bold there. There must have been a wax stain on that card. So it came through kind of faint. Um, so we'll call the 83 tops the better card out of that pack. Uh, Manny Trio was the 1980 NLCS MVP for the Phillies, hitting 381 and four RBIs. He was a four time All Star in 77, 81, 82, and 83, a three time Gold Glove winner. Um, and overall, he played 17 seasons for the A's, the Cubs, the Phillies, the Indians, the Expos, the Giants, and the Reds, hitting 263 with 61 home runs and 571 RBIs. Um, I remember when I was growing up, he was just like a common nobody talked about him type player, but he did have a very successful career and obviously winning that NLCS MVP in 1980 is pretty impressive. Um, I've sent to him before. I saw, I don't remember who, get him back on the channel. I was like, you know what? I should send him any treat. It's been a while. I'm so glad to add those three cards. Next up, two of two, 105 days. This one took a while. Bill Spaceman Lee signed his 80 something, 82, 81 Fleer and his 79 tops. I think he signs one free per team. So you can get a Red Sox and an Expos card signed by him. Um, I think after that he charges $5 from what I remember. Um, interesting that he didn't put the Earth 2003 on his Fleer card. He usually puts that on everything. So that's kind of neat having his. And this might be the first signed card where there's no Earth on it, actually, to be honest. And I've gotten tons of Billy. I've seen him in person. Um, and he's been a great signer forever. He's great to the fans. Um, of course, nicknamed the Spaceman. He's kind of zany. Um, I don't have a stat card for him, but he won 17 games several times with the Red Sox. He was on the 75 uh, American League champion Red Sox. Um, was an excellent pitcher, mostly junk ball, of course. Didn't have much of a fastball, um, but used kind of his wits. And he's still pitching today. He's pitching for, at times, the Savannah Bananas, and he's always pitching somewhere else. Um, quite the character, 
Uh, my favorite quote by him is, you know, I was at a show and he said, um, you know, I carry, I carry a baseball card of Greg Nettles in my ass, uh, in my wallet. And, and he asked, you know why? And he said, well, I do that so that every day Greg Nettles is kissing my ass. Um, of course, he had a huge feud with the Yankees, got into a huge fight with them in 77. It's worth looking up. Um, it was an awesome baseball fight, but he got hurt in it. Um, I was sidelined for a couple months after separating his shoulder. That's the one where um, Mickey Rivers was cheap shotting people. Um, great fight to look up, though. And my last TTM is one of one, five days, no fee. And it is a 66 Tops card signed by Chico Cardenas. Um, I saw, again, I wish I wrote, I should start writing this down, but someone on YouTube got him back, and I went and checked some of my vintage I had just piles of vintage in the basement and found one of his cards. Um, and so I sent it right off. Um, he played 16 years for the Reds, Twins, Angels, and Rangers. He was a five-time All-Star. He started one of the All-Star games, I think, 1965. Um, he was won a gold glove in 1965. And overall, he played in 1,941 games, hit 257 with 118 home runs, 689 RBIs, and he is a member of the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame. Um, so that's a brand new autograph to my collection. Very glad to add that. Some really good autographs this week. Um, a couple newbies and then some other nice ones in the Swoboda. And then the Manny Trio is, looks really cool with that blue. And then Billy without Earth is pretty cool. So those are my um, TTMs. Uh, it is now summer vacation. I am out of work, out of school. I should have more time to write more letters. Um, I have a goal of writing two letters every day. So hopefully I'll be able to post videos more frequently of, of who's signing in the mail and who I'm getting back. But that's it for this week. Um, as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I, I love seeing my subscriber count go up. And like the video if you got any information or plan to send any of these players. Um, but until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.